Hello everyone and welcome back to another tip video. Today we're going to do another way that you can make an elevator in Roblox Studio, this time using the tween service. So I'm in Roblox Studio. I have already made a part and attached a script to it. I'm going to go into that script and first I'm going to get the tween service. This allows us to use uh, the uh, tween functions that we will need to tween our part. Then we're going to get a reference to the part by doing script.parent. And then we're going to get two vector threes. Uh, named start position and end position. This is going to be where our part stops and ends. So uh, feel free to change these values as you see fit. So we're going to make a vector three dot new parentheses uh, and my part is going to go from 0, 0, uh, negative 20, where it is positioned currently in space. I'm going to copy this. And it's going to go all the way up to 10. Uh, and then but right before we uh, get our tween info done, we're going to set our part's position to the start position. Now uh, that's all done, we're going to make a new variable and we're going to call it tween info. So tween info is what we use to tween in Roblox Studio. Tweening being going in between different uh, states or positions or you can do a whole bunch of things with tween info. This is just one of the many things. So all of these numbers that I'm about to type mean different things. Uh, so, this first number, 10, is going to be how long you want your tween to take. So it's going to be 10 seconds moving at one stud a second. Uh, next, we're going to do enum.easingstyle.linear. Uh, so this uh, makes our tween happen in a linear easing style. Uh, this makes it really even all across. Uh, and then uh, we're going to do another enum, easing direction. So now we're going to say uh, how, uh, which ways are going to ease. You can either do in, in, out, or out. We're going to do in, out, which means both in and out. Then this is how many times uh, you want the tween to repeat. Uh, anything less than zero. Uh, will be forever, and that's the, what we want, so that's good. Uh, here is if we wanted to reverse after it is done, which we do, and then we're going to have a five second delay between each uh, tween. Now we have our tween info, we're going to have to make the actual tween now. So we're going to go do tween service. colon create. So now we are creating the tween using the tween info. Uh, we are tweening the part. We insert our tween info. Uh, then we go, we're going to do uh, position equals end position. So that's where it's going to tween to. So we have the property here for it to tween, and then we have the end position, which is where that property needs to be equal to. And then we play it. Simple as that. And then once you hit play, you can see that our part moves up and very soon it will be moving down. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, uh, please subscribe and follow our YouTube and our uh, and uh, TikTok. 
and join us on the Discord. Thank you so much.